Hi guys, this is Luke and welcome to part 3 of this Django Beyond the Basics series. Today we are going to pick up where we left off the last time, but instead of adding objects through the admin as we did before, we are going to add them through our site. And in order to do this, we'll need to have a form where we can select either a film or a commercial. And this will be a form that consists of radio buttons as our options. Depending on what we select, in the next view, we will see a form for the film or a form for the commercial. And through these forms, we are going to be able to save objects to our database. So this should be quite interesting because among others we will use class-based views, we will use ordinary Django forms and model forms. Also we will override the getFormClass method, we will use widgets and more. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so let's do this. So first of all, we are going to jump into the settings py file and here what we need to do is to specify where Django should look for additional templates. And what we can do is to grab this code from the databases and put it inside the templates dears. We just need to change the dbsqlite3 to templates. And now we can grab this piece of code again and go all the way down and specify static, static file steers. And here we are going to tell Django where to look for the static files because we will need a style CSS in this part of the project. So right now we defined that the static folder and the templates folder um, over here should go inside the src directory. So these folders, those directories should be next to all our application folders, next to our main project folder and next to the manage py file as well as next to the database. So let's create them very quickly. So src and here templates and then another one will be the static. So in this templates folder we will keep our base HTML. So this is going to be the template from which other templates will inherit and we can go to the link in the description. So over here we have a post related to Django and Chart.js tutorial which is available on YouTube and here we have a base HTML file which we can copy and paste it in our base HTML. It contains everything we actually need. It has the semantic UI, the Chart.js, the jQuery. So uh, what it doesn't have is the blocks, the blocks we need to define by ourselves. First of all, I'm going to set a constant name which will appear in every single template that will um, inherit from this base HTML. So in the title, we will have everywhere a movie app and then the block title will be different for each template. Here is the place to set some unique content. In the body, we will do a similar thing but first we will set the div class to be equal UI container. So we are using um, the semantic UI framework in order to add some spacing on the left and on the right. And let's close it off. Let's put in the block content inside. Okay. And maybe later uh, we will add another block called block scripts for the JavaScript. But right now let's not focus too much on this. Let's just save the base HTML. I didn't save the settings py, so I'm going to do it right now. And I'm going to head over to the movie proj where we are going to set a views py file. And over here we are just going to set a simple home view. So once we submit our form and we add a movie 
it can be either a film or a commercial to the database we are going to be redirected to this home view and this will return only a HTTP response so we actually need to import it from Django HTTP import HTTP response and here we can put in welcome to the home page later we will change this home view to a nice dashboard with maybe some of the statistics we will see how this uh, project uh, yeah, progresses uh, for now let's leave it as welcome to the home page we can go ahead and save this views py file and jump into the urls make an import from dot views import our home view and let's set it as the main path home view and let's name this home view okay so now if I save this and then refresh over here we have the welcome to the home page so let's go back and let's jump into views py file of our movies application folder we can begin from making an import from django views generic we would like to import a form view and this form view will be used in both of the views that we are going to create in this part of the project so both of those views are going to be class-based views the first one will be called movie select form view it will take in of course our form view and let's leave it like this for now and this, the next one will be maybe let's call it add movie form view okay so let me explain why do we need two views the first one will contain two radio buttons so it will have a form with two radio buttons one will be the film the other one will be the commercial so let's actually bring those models into this views file okay so we have uh, film and commercial if we decide to select the film we will be taken to this add movie form view with a special form for adding films if we decide to 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 add a commercial we will also be taken to this add movie form view with the commercial form so over here we will have one form assigned and we can do it very easily by specifying the form class is equal to and then the form name apart from this we will also have a template name which we will have to create and we will do it in just a second and we will also have a success URL set to reverse lazy so let's import reverse lazy from uh, Django URLs import reverse lazy and we can set it as nothing we won't pass nothing because we want to use the reverse lazy uh, in case of in case of the success to take us to this view but we haven't registered both of these views in the urls so this is something that we will do in just a while but for now those are the things that we need to specify we will also have a post method defined below but let's not get ahead of ourselves uh, let's see what we will need in the add movie form view here we will have a template name and we will also have a success URL the problem is that we would need to have two forms handled in a single view the form for the films and uh, and for the commercials so what we can do over here is to override the get form class and this will take in self arcs and keyword arcs and for now let's write pass because we can't we aren't able to handle this logic just yet but the purpose is to uh, display 
a film form if a certain condition is met and a commercial form if a certain condition is met. So yeah, let's jump into a new file that we need to create forms py and let's work on the forms. So for our movie select form view we will need to have a movie select form. So let's just import from Django import forms and then let's define a class called movie select form which will inherit from forms.form. It won't inherit from model form because this won't interact with our database. This is just an information to be sent what kind of movie we want to add. Is it a film or is it a commercial? So I will have only one field defined as a forms choice field. Choice field. And we will need to define some choices. This is something that we will do in just a second then we can reset the label there will no there will be no label if we do it like this and very important is to specify the widget so here we will set it to be forms radio select and inside we will pa pass in some attributes but for now i'm going to leave it as an empty dictionary Soon we will come back to this once in the static uh, folder we will define a style CSS file where we will put in a special class that we will use over here. Okay, so in order to finish this form what we need to do is to come back to those choices. So I'm going to create a tuple called movie or everything let it be with capitals movie choices and inside this tuple I'm going to put in two more tuples and let's put in the film and let's also put in the commercial okay so um, we can now copy the movie choices and put it over here. And basically we are done with the movie select form. What do we need to do next is to create another class called film model form. And this will inherit from forms.model form. With the class meta we can indicate that we are referring to the model called film which we need to import so from dot models import film and also by the way let's grab the commercial so here it will be film and we want to display the fields as all so we want to see all the fields in this form okay and now we can copy this put it below and instead of film we will have the commercial so let's change this to commercial as well and the fields will remain the same so yeah basically uh, you could say that the forms are ready to use however there is one issue and it is related to this actors field which is a many-to-many -many field to the actor so if we uh, don't do anything with this actors field we will see all the actors so in the film model form we will see also the commercial actors and in the commercial form we will also see the film actors so what we can do is to redefine this field let's uh, do this let's set it as forms multiple multiple uh, model multiple choice field let's put in a label and let let it be a label called for example select all the actors and then what we can do is to specify a widget which will be forms select multiple and finally we need to provide a query set so in this case we are referring to the actor which we have to import so from 
actors models import actor and we can use it over here so actor objects filter and we want to filter by the is star field and we want to grab if all the objects where the is star is equal to true because we are referring right now to the films so now we can simply copy this and put it over here and in this case the actors should be uh, where the field is set to is star is equal to false and this is basically it so what we can do now is to return to our views py file and continue working on our views so let's do another import from forms import movie select form then what we will have is the film model form and the commercial model form and over here we can put in the movie select form the template name we will create a templates folder in just a second but let's put it the path as movies and main HTML and over here what we can do is to set the templates as movies and maybe add HTML and the success URL is also going to be reverse lazy but in this case we can go to the home view okay so if everything is okay we would like to jump into the home view which is defined in the views py file of our main project folder and in the urls py file we have it registered as home view okay so um, uh, this should actually work but now we need to work on this logic so what we can do over here is to write post and with this post we are going to set a session variable so we can write self request session movie will be equal to self request post get movie okay so right now um, we have this movie select form with one field movie and we are getting it through the post request we are getting the value and storing it in a session variable and then what we need to do is to simply return super and then post arcs and cure arcs all right so let's actually test this out what i need to do is to, I'm going to actually copy this and put it over here just for now just for testing and we can jump into the movies folder and create a templates directory over here inside the templates directory we will create another one called, called movies and then let's create this main HTML file let's uh, inherit from base HTML the block title will be uh, maybe select a movie and then in the block content we will put in a form action set to blank with a method equal to post and then since we are dealing with a post request let's put in a csrf token the form itself so form let's set it as p so as paragraph and uh, let's put in a button type submit and let's have this uh, button in a blue color so i'm going to set a semantic ui class to be equal UI button or yeah I think UI button primary 
and this is going to be a select button so let's put in select select and let's close it off all right so we have our main HTML uh, created and it refers to the movie select form view so let's actually create a URLs py file and in this URLs py file we need to import from Django URLs import path we also need to have our views so from dot views import movie select no not movie select form but what are the views movie select form view and add movie form view okay so movie select form view and add movie form view the app name will match the application so in this case it's movies and let's open up the URL patterns and here we can put in as the main path for this application this movie select form view so movie select form view as view because we are dealing with class based views and then the name will be movie select or movie select view all right so this is the path for the movie select form view let's add another one for this add movie form view which which isn't finished and just yet but let's do it right now add form view as view the path will have an ending add and this will be add movie view okay so we need to simply jump into main project folder to the urls py file and include the movies application urls in the main url patterns so over here we can write down path let's also import include and now we can simply delete this put over here an ending movies and include and we want to go to the movies and to the urls so let's just put in movies dot urls and the namespace will match the app name okay so now if we go to the movies we have a form it's not looking that nice because we have bullets over here and we also should have some uh, margin between this uh, button this radio button and the label so yeah we will fix this in uh, just a second um, let's jump into the views for just one moment because over here what we can do is to write print and we would like to print the self request post get movie let's see what we will have over here i'm going to save this and yeah refresh film select we are taken to the home page so this is working because we set the success url to take us to the home view but let's see what do we have in the terminal so in the terminal we have film okay so we can actually um let's see how do we have it in our forms py so here we have the film as uh, this human readable name as uh, capitalized and in lower case uh, or in lower case and with the capitalized letter so inside of our views py file we can put in the uh, lower and capitalize So now in the session variable, we are storing this movie in lowercase and then capitalizing the, the first letter. So let's see how this works out. I'm going to refresh, select the film again. And OK, but because nothing changed because we are um, still printing the self request post get movie. 
let me put in the entire self request post git movie with the lower and capitalize now i'm going to save it go back select the film again and now everything is okay so if we have this uh, self request session movie variable we can actually get it over here in the get form class and we can do it very easily by writing movie is equal to self request session get and we want to get the movie and then we can write down if movie is equal to film what we would like to return is the film model form and in other case what we would like to return is the commercial model form and uh, in order to save the objects in the database let's create another method form valid and this takes in self and a form and then we can simply just write down form save and return super form valid form okay uh, in the urls py file we have this add movie view so we can copy this go to the views and change this home view to be movies and then this add movie view so once we select a movie we are going to store the value in a session val variable called movie we are going to go to the add movie form view with the get form class method we are going to get the value of the movie and depending on its value we are going to return the film model form or the commercial model form and once we fill it out and everything is okay we are going to save the objects in the database for the film model or the commercial model so uh, wh one thing that is missing is this add html so we can go to the movies and the templates movies and add this add html template and over here let's copy this put it in the add html and here we will have add a movie and the button will be add and nothing should change over here so yeah let's test this out I'm going to refresh film select and as you can see here is our uh, form which for the films which isn't looking that good so what I'm going to do is to add a class equal to UI form and now if I refresh this looks much much nicer and let's try to add a movie I'm going to put in zombie land with Bradley Cooper and Gal Gadot and the length will be 100 let's add let's go to the films and it, uh, yeah interstellar has been added before and here we have Zombieland, which we added just a second ago so this is working for uh, and we have been redirected to the home page so this is working for the film let's add a commercial here we can add let's just write down new and the company will be new company let's add it okay it seems that it worked commercials and here we have new so this is working as well the one thing that bothers me is the look of this form so we need to jump into the static and add a style css and maybe we can also uh, refer to the body and set the background color to be equal alice blue and then we can write down a radio one class which will have a list style 
set to none and let's make it important and also let's write margin mm, right and set it to 10 pixels and also let's set it to important and then padding let's make this maybe also 10 pixels important so now we can save this bring this radio one into our forms into the widget forms radio select attributes so let's write down class and let's set it to be this radio one and yeah we can also jump into the base html below the semantic ui let's add a new class new a uh, comment sorry new comment called custom css and here let's write down link rel is equal to actually i'm just going to copy this part and paste it over here and the ref will be set to first we need to import static load static actually load static and we can put in static and now refer to this style css inside of our static folder let's close it save it hit refresh and there it is it's looking much much nicer And as you can see, this works perfectly fine. So basically we are done with part number three of this project. So let's finish off over here. Hope you liked the video. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hopefully we will see each other in the next video on this channel. Take care, have a great day and bye-bye.